and welcome to Classic Real Comedies, Facts, Trivia. Thank you for being here. Today's video, <laughs> who was the mystery voice behind Mr. Ed? Oh, Wilbur. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. That familiar whining message kicked off every episode of Mr. Ed, which ran from 61 to 66 on CBS. Based on short stories by Walter R. Brooks, the sitcom starred Alan Young as Wilbur Post. Uh, the flustered architect who owns inexplicably, in, inexplicably a talking horse. The comedy in Mr. Ed was primarily a two-man setup. Cheesy, teasing banter between Wilbur and Ed. So, who was the other actor in this dynamic duo? The show's credits listed Mr. Ed as being played by simply himself. And Mr. Ed premiered in 61. It appears as something of a residential farce. farce. In the pilot episode, newlyweds Wilbur and Carol Post, played by Connie Hines, moved into a new California home where Ed has been left behind by previous owners. Ed then reveals he can talk, but only to Wilbur. From there, the horse becomes not only Wilbur's friend, but his confidant and obsession. In turn, Ed uh, defines the relationship the, uh, through rapid fire, I ironic put downs, neighed with enough indignant, indignant, I'm having a real hard time with words today, guy. Indignant, in. Yeah, okay, to make you forget he's a horse. It is easily one of television's oddest relationships. Playing the human at heart of it all, Alan Young became a star, but what of his snarky conspirator? His spirited Palomino partner. Ed was portrayed by a horse named Bamboo Harvester. Bamboo Harvester performed Ed's many human-like stunts through careful training, but the talking horse, of course, is remembered for more his lip-curling voice. Legend has it the crew put peanut butter in Bamboo Harvester's mouth uh, to make his mouth flat. Uh, that was uh, provided by a voice actor named Rocky Lane. Alan Rocky Lane. Throughout the series, uh, the production company alluded to Lane as an actor who prefers to remain nameless. That was not exactly true. Once Mr. Ed became a success, Lane naturally demanded credit, but instead he accepted a raise. Thus, his name was lost to history. So, who was Alan Lane? Alan Rocky Lane was born in Indiana in 1909 and grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He began acting in films when he was just 20 years old. Lane first appeared as a romantic lead alongside darlings like Shirley Temple, Lucille Ball, uh, Barbara Stanwyck, and Ginger Rogers. In 1938, he was cast in The Law West of Tombstone and quickly earned a reputation for portraying the tough cowboy characters who dominated B-Western movies. In 1946, Lane replaced Wild Bill Elliott in the role of Red Rider and reprised that character in six more films. He began to go on by the nickname Rocky, a moniker which came to define Lane's identity as children's products like comic strips, toys, Rocky Lane posse patches, were then uh, marketed using his name and likeness. As Rocky, Lane continued to appear in various projects. By 1966, he had acted on screen 106 times, not including the series Mr. Ed, to which he lent his iconic voice beginning in 61. He died of cancer in 1973 at the age of 64. While living in California, posthumously in 2003, he won the TV Land Award uh, for the category of Favorite Pet Human Relationship. Over his long career in cinema, Lane's career hit heroic highs as well as bit part lows, and sadly, he is not remembered for perhaps his most enduring role, Mr. Ed. But his voice continues to delight viewers as Mr. Ed runs on in syndication. I apologize for the fumbling of words. I, I had a hard day at work, and it's really hot outside, and I'm doing this right now. This is a difficult time uh, composing myself. Thank you. Uh, that's all I got for you. I found this really interesting. And, and you know Rocky Lane, uh, Alan Rocky Lane? I actually played in Gunsmoke in several episodes, so that's pretty neat, too. And it just doesn't seem like, you know, the voice of Mr. Ed, tough cowboy. <laughs> anyway, all I got for you, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet, please like this video. Thank you very much. Share this out with your family and friends and apologize to them as well for my fumbling of words. You guys have a great day. God bless, and I'm praying for you.